Hey guys, Griff here, and this is the best way to farm unique trophies in Dying Light 2. Endless unique trophies, all from volatiles, and you won't get hit once. It's so easy to do, or well, you might get hit once. So here's how you do it. First, you want to travel to your ship base. If you've not unlocked the ship base yet, you get it about two hours into the game. When you fast travel, it will put you in your bed, so have a sleep to make sure it's night as we're going to trigger a chase. And what we want is to get to stage three of the chase because that's when the volatiles come out. The volatiles are the big grey zombies and they drop unique trophies. So run up the stairs and head outside and be on the lookout for a howler. Howlers are pretty much everywhere, you won't have to go far, maybe a few dozen feet from the base. Set off the howler just by being near it and it will call loads of zombies over to start the chase. Now what you need to do is head over to this structure here. It's this blue sort of tower thing and it's got some purple UV lights on it. Climb onto the first little platform which it looks kind of like a, a little water container and you can stay up here whacking zombies from complete safety. When they jump up on the platform, the UV light will stun them and then you can just hit them straight off the platform. Do this until you reach chase level three and then the volatiles will start to spawn and the volatiles have unique trophies. The ones you're killing right now also have trophies on them if you're after that, but for this farm, we're after unique trophies. By the way, guys, if you're wondering what weapon I'm using to kill the zombies you see here in one hit, it's a level nine weapon and I looted it from the sunken airdrops. Uh, the sunken airdrops are at the bottom of the map. I've got a video above if you want to click on that uh, because you can see in that video how you can farm these very powerful weapons for yourself. Anyway, chase level 3 will start after you've killed enough zombies. If you're losing your chase meter and it starts flashing, uh, run back over to some more zombies and the chase will continue. Now the volatiles come out and it's the same thing as before. They'll jump on the platform but due to the UV lights they'll just start burning and won't be able to attack you. Now you can whack them with your melee weapon and then loot their dead body. Make sure enemies in the area are all dead before you start looting as it takes about two seconds for the loot animation to happen. And this trophy farm is endless since the chase just goes on and on for as long as you're alive. Or until the night ends and the sun comes out, at which point you can fast travel to your bed and repeat the process over and over. And you will need all the trophies you can get in Dying Light uh, because to upgrade all your gear to the max level you will need literally thousands of trophies. It's endless. Whether it's your lockpick or your grappling hook or your paraglider or your med kits that you want to upgrade, each item has several levels of upgrade and each one requires an increasing amount of trophies. Volatiles are by far the trickiest to farm, which is why unique trophies are usually so hard to come by. But with this farming method, you'll be able to get an infinite supply of them really quickly and really safely. Relatively safely. You might take the odd whack. Uh, that's why it's important to bring some medkits along just to be safe. And hey, if you wanted to optimize this trophy farm even more, you could bring along some explosives and molotovs and blow them up pretty quickly. Or you could even use the crossbow that you get as a reward for signing with the Peacekeeper faction. As I've heard, the crossbow is very powerful and it keeps you, uh, keeps you at, at range, at distance. Uh, but... You know, I sided with the survivors and I did not get the crossbow because the survivors don't give you one. Uh, but that's okay because even if you're just relying on melee, you can still do this farm and get endless unique trophies. And lastly, I recommend doing this zombie farm while wearing some XP boosting gear. Because if you're going to be killing zombies all night, you might as well be earning XP. So take a look at your gear stats and wear the gear that's going to boost your combat XP. Certain gear will give you a few percentage uh, percentage more of XP and this will stack with other gear so you could raise your XP gains by 10 to 15 percent. All you have to do is bank that XP um, by either ending the night and sleeping in a bed. Um, actually that's it, I went up at the end of the sentence but that's all you have to do. The list ends there. Don't die before you've done that because you will lose all your XP. So that was how to farm endless unique trophies from Volatiles in Dying Light 2. Let me know in the comments how you get on with that. And for more Dying Light 2 guys, we're talking money glitches, XP farms, trophy farms. Then make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll be making loads more Dying Light 2 guides. Thanks for watching and now I'm off to go jump in a vat of jelly. See you later.